Oh, hi there. So I'm sure you're wondering what solutions architect do. Is it a sales role? Is it a technical role? And I'm sure the list of questions don't end there. So today, let's discuss what essays do. But more importantly, we'll create a framework to identify if this role is for you or not. When I call out, all you need to do is add the responsibility or the task of an essay to a like list, if you can relate to it. So let's begin with the most important question. What is the main responsibility of this role? Oh, wait a minute, I'm getting a call. Let me take that first. Hi Romy, how is it going? So I'm trying to deploy my website, but there are so many options out there. Uh, can you please help me identify the best options and what are the best practices for this particular use case? Sure. Um, first of all, there are many services that we can use to deploy your website. For example, EC2 instance, container service such as ECS or EKS, or even S3. But first, tell me a little bit more about your website. What is the purpose of the website? Is it internal or external? How much traffic do you expect at the initial stage? So this is the main responsibility, helping customers. SA is a trusted advisor for AWS's customer. It's not a SA's job to sell services to the customer. I have to understand customer's business problem and then give my recommendations accordingly. Just a disclosure, topics which are discussed in a real world customer calls are often a bit more complex than this simplified scenario. But now you might be asking, why does customer need SA? Can't they do the research on their own? Yes, they can, and some customers do that. But AWS provides around 200 plus services for customers to choose from. And in some cases, even services have further options within them. For example, S3 provides different tiers. Depending on the use case, a customer can choose one over the other. So from the customer's point of view, SA is a great helping hand which can guide them in the right direction rather quickly. Now, if you find the idea of working with customers on a day-to-day basis exciting, then add this point to your like list. The second question you might have is, who are we helping? Yes, customers, but who are these customers? CEO, CTO, head of business, developers, and so on. Now, this is something that I find very exciting. It can be anyone. In one call, you might be talking to the CEO and a CTO of a particular company, explaining why you should migrate or just listening to their issues and recommending solutions accordingly. And in the next call, you might be talking to a lead developer or a software engineer where you will dive deep into a particular AWS service and explain how it can solve the issue they are facing. So from an SA's perspective, your customer can be either technical or non-technical. And if you're comfortable speaking to either audience and enjoy this challenge, then add this point to your like list. So the next responsibility is working with other essays within your team or different teams. As some projects are too big for one essay to work on. And if you like collaborating with people on day-to-day -day basis, add this point to your like list. Apart from this, an essay in AWS can do n number of things. If you like public speaking or want to get better at it, you can take part in events that will allow you to do just that. If you like coding or programming stuff from scratch, you can create POCs or proof of concept for customers to demonstrate that the architecture you're recommending will solve the business problems in question. Now, obviously you get to do all of the things I've said, but what should be at the center? I think I've already talked about it. So drop in the comment below what it is. So the role of SA comes with some ambiguities you don't have the traditional to-do list given to you that you can just follow day in day out. You have to be creative and invent ways of helping customers as much as possible. If you're okay with this work style, add this point to your like list. Now, you might ask, what are the skills required to be an essay? To be honest, I feel this topic deserves its own video as there are many skills required, but let's cover the most important one, which is also the responsibility, learning. AWS releases new features or services on a frequent basis. Therefore, an essay has to put the time and effort into learning them because your customers will expect you to know the latest trends and services. I find this part of the job very exciting as I get to learn new technology on a day-to-day -day basis. If you find this part also exciting, then add this to your like list. Now you have some understanding of the essay's job responsibilities. So let's check the list that we created from the start of the video. 
How many responsibilities or tasks did you find interesting? If you noted most of them down, then this role might be for you. Also, let me know in the comment below how many you liked. If you found this video helpful, then please show your support by liking and subscribing to my channel. By doing so, you will stay updated on future videos related to such topic. Also check out these two videos where I go over how to pass an AWS certification exam in just three weeks. And the second one, I talk about why AWS certification alone is not enough to land your dream cloud job. So thank you so much for watching guys. I really appreciate your time and I'll see you in the next one.